The COVID-19 pandemic has presented many challenges to students, educators, parents. Whether kids are in school, hybrid or virtual at times, distress can really be too much. New at 5, Jordan Betts shows us how some states are tackling the problem. And then when you realize that you actually are feeling ways that you've never felt before, experiencing different things, it can be even worse. Going to school can sometimes seem impossible for Katie Hernandez. I got diagnosed with clinical depression and I didn't know what was going on with my brain. I didn't know why I was feeling the ways I was feeling. The Olathe North Jr. says there are days where the stress from school and life is just too much. What I was seeing in myself was that I was stressing myself so much to the point that I was making my body sick. So I couldn't go to school. I really couldn't. And sometimes sometimes I had to go to school in Kansas and Missouri. If your child is sick, it's an approved school absence. But the distinction isn't as clear when they're dealing with mental illness. For example, in Missouri, the Department of Education says those policies are created by each individual district. And in Kansas, for example, the Lawrence and Casey K School District say they only list illness as an excuse. But it is an excused absence in some states like Utah. We talked with lawmakers there who told us since they changed the state statute in 2018, they're seeing a decrease in the state suicide rate, attributing it not only to new legislation, but an increased push to give students the help they need. We are sending a message to kids that you matter, that your mental health matters, and there's going to be some resources to help take care of you. Utah Representative Mike Winder is hoping to add another layer by allowing students to miss class for mental health reasons. By adding mental health to the state statute, that goes even one step further. Uh, if you have a crisis in your home and, and a panic attack and you just can't, you're at the breaking point, this gives you an opportunity to stop and catch your breath. It doesn't get you out of that test or your schoolwork. His colleagues believe all states need to find additional ways to help our youth. Why are America's children in some cases killing themselves and we can't ring the alarm too loudly? Uh, we know at any given point, one in five Americans uh, are struggling with a, a mental illness and that the majority of mental illnesses first manifest themselves in the, the teenage years. Would schools here at home be on board if similar legislation is passed in Kansas or Missouri? We reached out to several school districts in the area. Those that responded did not want to comment. As for student Katie Hernandez, she believes it could save lives. If they can think back to the times that they were in high school, and I know everyone had those days where they just were not feeling the best, if they were able to miss school and just not think about anything at all, just work, focus on themselves, which is ultimately what we all want to feel better. If they had that excuse absence, imagine how much better everything would have been for them. How like that one day could have impacted the rest of their life. Jordan Betts, 41 Action News. Well, the Utah Senate passed the mental health bill last week. It's now on the governor's desk where it is expected to be signed into law. We reached out to our local reps about the idea. We have yet to receive a response. We'll keep you updated again. Your mental health is very important to us until seven tonight. A panel of experts are available to take your calls and talk with you about how to cope with the loss, how to manage stress and how to help you deal with grief. All you have to do, ladies, is dial 211.